If you are doing web automation or mobile automation, or in fact, any other type of automation, you may have come across the situation where you have a keyword that is doing an action, for example, a click or an input text. And sometimes that keyword works, uh, sometimes it doesn't. So you are trying to find the perfect way to modify or to declare that keyword so you know that it will always be functional. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use to rapidly make those keywords work in 100% of times. So for example, let's assume that you have a web application and you make a series of uh, interactions, uh, clicking many elements. You click one element on page one, you are redirected to page two, and then you want to click an element on page two. So what you will have, you will have uh, in a normal uh, environment, you will have uh, a wait keyword for the element on page one, followed by the click, then you will have the wait element for the uh, element on page two, uh, the, the wait uh, keyword, sorry. And then you will actually have the click for the element on page two. So let me just create a sample test case. And we will have settings, we will have keywords. Let me just import Selenium library. All right, Selenium library is correctly installed and configured. So I can see it in, uh, I can uh, make, uh, get the suggestions if I control click. So let's say, for example, um, I want to have a keyword like make a certain action. And we, we would have a wait until page contains element. And we are going to say here element one. Uh, this is just a, a demo. It is not uh, representative with uh, a certain uh, expat or value. I'm just explaining the, the context. And then you would have click element element one, then you will have a wait until page contains element two, and then you will have a click element on element two. Now, in a real world, a real uh, test case scenario would be the case where you correctly click on the first element, then the HTML page starts loading and your element two is displayed inside the HTML, but the page is not fully uh, loaded. So the wait until page contains element, element two keyword will succeed, but the click will fail and that your, will cause your test to fail because the click happened uh, just before the element was ready to be clicked. So the method I discovered that can uh, help me bypass this is to trick the automatic test into repeating the click until the action is performed. So in order to do that, we can take advantage of a very interesting keyword that is um, part of the built-in library of robot framework that it's called wait until keyword succeeds. So basically what this does is to repeat a certain keyword or a certain action until it has succeeded. In other words, in our example, after the wait until page contains element has run successfully, you will put the wait until keyword succeeds in front of this click and the automatic test will try to click on element two. If that fails, he will wait a certain amount of time and then it will try to click again. And if it doesn't succeed, 
it will try to click again and so on until you reach the maximum timeout you give to your keyword. So for that, I have, um, I can create a, a keyword here that should be called something like um, uh, run keyword until success and I will have here as arguments I would have keyword and actually um, yeah I have keyword and keyword args all right so I will say wait until keyword succeeds. I will give it two values. I will explain them immediately. And then I will have my keyword and the arguments. So basically what this does is to try to execute this keyword right here with the specified arguments. If it fails, it will wait a second and then try again. If it fails, it will wait another second and try again just until the limit of 10 seconds was achieved. So now we could replace these two lines with the click and say run keyword until success. And here I want to use the click element, element one. And here I will choose the click element, element two. If you use this keyword, you are likely to have uh, successful executions and escape that possibility in which your elements are not clickable at a certain period, at a certain moment in time, but you can redo the, the action until that keyword succeeds. And what I've noticed is that this method can, all, can be used for clicking elements, can be used for input text inside the text field, because if you think of it, when you try to uh, open a web, uh, um, a web card with an, um, a text inside it, with a text field. Uh, it, takes, it takes a while for that uh, web element to load. So if you try to input the text inside the text field too soon, before the actual element was loaded, it will actually um, fail your test. But if you use this run keyword until success, and then you use this uh, input text and give the value inside the text field. If it fails, it will wait for the period you have set here and it will retry for as many times as needed until it reaches the maximum timeout. Okay, that is for uh, today's trick. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one.